Let's take a look at the powerful features of CAD AI's 3D Viewer and how they can be used in your business or app. Starting up with the layout, we have the main canvas area, the sidebar tools, the shortcut tools on the top, the advanced tool at the bottom, and the view box at the top left corner. Let's start off with the view box first. This tool can be used to view the model from various different orientation. For example, just click on any part of this tool and you can see the viewer will automatically orient its view according to the size or edges clicked. Now coming towards the sidebar tools, this tool can be accessed with the toggle button below the view box. When active, you can see three main tabs, Model, Materials, and Environment. Within these, there are some more sub-tabs like Presets and Custom in the Materials tab, Lighting and Background tab in the Environment tab. Let's now look in greater detail into these features. Starting off with the Model tab, which has mesh information and scale features. The mesh information shows the uploaded model's mesh parameters like volume, size, number of vertices, and number of triangles. Notice that the units are in SI unit system or millimeters by default. These units can be, however, converted into inches by choosing the unit button in the scale feature just below. The scale feature can be used to scale up or down any model to a desired size. Just use the slider or use the input field to set the scaling factor. The models will instantly change its size linearly in all direction. You can also change the size non-linearly in X, Y, or Z direction simply by changing the values in fields below. Let's now jump to Materials Feature tab. The material appearance of the model can be changed in two ways. First, either by choosing from a vast library of preset material or by custom creating the material appearances. Let's try the preset material first. The quick materials can be used to quickly add default preset material like plastic, metal, painted, rubber, resin, or ceramic. You can also browse for more preset material from our vast list of material samples. You can also custom create your material appearance from the Custom Materials tab. The Custom Material feature allows users to set material appearance properties like color, emissivity, roughness, metalness, shadings, opacity, fog, and environment mapping. To make it active, just turn on the button for it. Then you can select the color using the color picker or inserting the hex values of the color. Let's try this gold color. The change takes immediately on the model. The same can be done for emissivity. I would rather keep it dark. The roughness of the model changes the glossiness of the model. The metalness changes the shine of the material based on the lighting environment it receives. The shadings changes the visual mesh patches it has on the models. The opacity is used to play with the transparency of the model. The fog and environment mapping are environment dependent properties which we will cover later. Coming on the environment feature tab, the environment of the material has two sub feature, lighting and background. The background feature has various different background features like panoramic background, static image background, solid color background, gradient color background, and grounded background. The panoramic background can be used to view the model in a panoramic way. We have some nice looking panoramas preset in the list to choose from. Just select any of these options and rotate the viewer to see the effects in real time. The reflection of these panoramic views can be also visualized by activating the environment mapping feature in the custom material tab and changing the metalness and roughness property. The static image background can be used to set a textured or pattern background image. Select from the list of such images given in the Select option to see the effects. With the solid color, users can select their favorite color by using the Color Picker option or simply paste the hex code for the color they want. Not interested in a single color background? No problem. CAD AI also provides gradient colored backgrounds. Select the gradient style from the Select option and browse for the gradient you like the most. 
the grounded feature provides a more realistic 3D view. With this tool, users can select various types of ground, floor, or land to visualize their model as if it's kept on a certain type of base. This tool has foggy environment features which can be controlled by the slider for visibility to change the intensity of the fogginess. The night mode. This tool is just another way of looking at your model in dark situations. Again, the intensity of the darkness can be controlled by the visibility slider. So that was the background feature. Now, let's look at the Lighting Setups feature. In the Lightings tab, we have Hemispherical Lighting, which is, in a sense, is the natural lighting condition. The other two are directional lighting. All these lightings have some common input values like position of the light, rotation, scale of the light, visibility button, color of the light, and the intensity slider. Just play around the values that best suits your model's appearance. For example, changing the intensity will change the light being received by the model and its effects on the shadow. In addition, there's a helper button. By activating it, you can now see the position and the direction of the light. This makes manipulating the light systems a lot more easier. Now if we switch back to the toolbar on the top, we have wireframe, grid, bounding box, section cut, auto rotate, subdivide or smooth, and grounded buttons as features. The wireframe button turns the mesh into wireframe to make the users visualize the mesh structure and its density. The grid button is used to visualize the model sitting on a grid platform. Notice how the center of rotation for the 3D viewer changes from grid center to the model center by turning the grid on and off. The bounding box helps to showcase the maximum space being acquired by the model along its length, width, and height. The section cut lets you to slice the model along the top, front, or right plane direction. Notice how choosing this button redirects you to the section cut option in the sidebar. Just choose the side for creating section and move the slider to see the effect. This tool comes handy when inspecting the model's internal structure and the walls of the model's surfaces. The Auto Rotate tool allows the users to auto rotate the viewer. The speed of the rotation can be controlled by the slider inside the Auto Rotate feature in the sidebar. The Subdivide or Smooth button, as the name suggests, it does both. The initial activation of this button smooths the surface of the model without changing the mesh structure. Let me show you by activating the Wireframe button. When the Smooth button is active, the surfaces get smoothened, but the mesh structure remains the same. The level of smoothness can further be increased by increasing the density of the polygons in the mesh, or in other words, subdivide the mesh. This can be done by selecting the Mesh Quality level in the Smoothness Factor feature in the sidebar. Notice how the number of vertices and the triangles changes with the quality level selected. We recommend to use this tool for models having less than 20K triangles for smoother performance experience. The next is a shortcut to the Grounded button we discussed previously in Environment Settings. In the toolbar at the bottom, we have a Create Snapshot feature, which create instant and downloadable snapshot of your model in PNG format. In addition to these tools, CAD AI 3D Viewer also provides some modern tools like Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality. Feel free to try yourself these features. We will cover this in a separate video. What are you going to build next? Sign up for your free trial account at CAD AI now. Thank you.